Yes, indeed. Welcome to Marty's Beer Show. All right, just drink beers. All right, today we have got a bit of a silly one here. We've got Corumban Valley Brewing Company's Grape Bubblegum Sour Ale. Now, this is not your run-of-the-mill beer. This is a bit out there, so I thought um, I would just I would give this its own show just because it's a bloody... That's a mouthful of a, of a beer. So, um, Corumban Valley Brewing. So, a couple of blokes... Um, Luke, uh, Luke Ronalds and Peter Weldon uh, a couple of years ago started it down in Crumman Valley, uh, Gold Coast. Um, started out, out in the um, out in the bush, beautiful rainforest area. They they're using sp natural spring water. Uh, they're um, eco friendly. They're doing all, all the right stuff, but they're just they're not making just your standard beers. They're just going out there, they're putting their ass in line, and they're making some funny ass beers and. Um, they're, they're selling selling them all, all little craft brewery uh, craft uh, bars that sell all your funny beers and that on tap. Um, a few of my local bars have it, and um, yeah, I liked a few of them. So I I um I I tried this. I don't know if I did try this the other day, but anyways, what I thought because it's such a, a funny tasting beer, what I thought I'd do, um, cause, you know. Now, I heard they, they base this on Hubba Bubba's Groovy Grape flavour. Now, um, so I thought, well, I like beer. I could make my own sour grape bubblegum, sour bubblegum grape. So, as I did in another episode before, I've got some, some Warheads and I have got a packet of Hubba Bubba. Um, we all know this, you know, chewing gum from back in the day when, uh, back when... You know, you, you could you could eat sugar, and uh, it wasn't going to kill you. So now, what I've done, I've just got a very stock standard beer, um, Foster's. I just did a review. You can check that out if I put it up yet. Um, and I figured that this beer tastes very standard, very plain. So I feel, thought maybe it's a good, um, somewhere good to start with, I guess. So what we'll do, we'll bung a few of the uh, few of the warheads. Now they're a bit different these days. They don't come individually wrapped. They come. They come like that, so you know that's how it is. And then we'll get we'll get one of the hubba bubbers. Um, now that's white. Back in my day, that would have been purple, but we'll just throw that in there. Let's just throw let's throw another one in there, just because um, we want to make it make sure we're getting the uh, full the full benefit. Because I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they did in the It Corumban Valley Brewery. They just no, they didn't. They crafted it with a lot of skill and talent and whatnot so i'm just gonna do this in the hope for entertainment's sake i can uh make that taste any good but i i, I don't have um high hopes for that because um i'm not a brewer so anyways um we'll just give that a little bit of a we'll give it a bit of a wiggle eh? Hey? we'll just um We'll um, do that, which is also, that's how they make it too. They get a steak, they get a chopping knife and they don't cut myself now. All right, so back to the main event. Cromer Valley's Great Bubblegum Sour Ale. Now I do like um, sour ales. Um, they're all the rage at the moment. So um, let's dig in. 4.4%, um, so that brings it to 1.3 standard drinks. It's um, brewed using spring water, it's, it's local it's just good they're just good blokes you know they're doing the right thing um it won the um it won the gab's people's choice award last year so there you go now let's um now straight off the bat that is smelling like bubble gum so they're not lying about that um but let's just uh, dig in now. I thought I thought it may have been a bit more purple than that. I did actually wear a purple t-shirt for this occasion, uh, try to match it. But let's just um, I could talk for for days about the stuff. Well, the weather it's actually flooding in Corumban Valley at the moment as of today. So there you go. So you've got plenty more water to make beer out of. But anyways. Whoa! Holy dooly! That is um, that does exactly what it says in the bottle. That's that's pretty fucking cool. That tastes like beer.
It's sour. And it's got this pretty funny little bubblegum here. But I reckon that works. I reckon that's that's kind of cool. That's something totally fucking different. That's um it's a bit sweet, it's not it's not mega refreshing, but it's it's interesting and that'll um that'll spark a conversation and that will that's cool. I like it. Like a lot of these experimental beers where they they're putting bloody pumpkin and you know fresh mulch in it, they're just not good, but I don't know how they've done it, like I don't know what they've actually um incorporated to do it, whether or not they've um because you know they've these guys make beers are bloody science, mad scientists, they do some pretty cool stuff, but um yeah, that's pretty good. Crumb and Valley. Now Let's see if I am as good as a professional master brewer and um, try Marty's Foster's Hubba Bubba Warhead Special. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's available at all leading retailers. Ah. Uh. Nah. Uh, no, nah, stick with this. There you go, Crumb and Valley's Great Bubblegum Sour Ale. If you can find it, it's pretty tricky one to find. Uh, around the Gold Coast and Brisbane area, you might be able to find it in your specialty craft shops on a few, if, it'll be on tap at a few local joints. They don't actually have their own tap room, digital liquor licensing and all that sort of gear, but they um, they are available online. With it. I'll leave a link to their website. Um, yeah, if you can find them, go check them out. They've got they've got a massive range of crazy beers. They've got another bubblegum sour. They've got um, yeah, they've got heaps of cool different beers. But I just thought this one deserved its own show. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching Marty's um, beer show and like and subscribe and all that sort of thing. And it's all good.